What's up everyone my name is Matsudan and in this video we'll cover Photoshop Express tutorial for Android. When you open the application you see all the photos. To access the camera, device files, Lightroom, Creative Cloud or library we tap on the top right. We can change the exported photo quality size and watermark in the preferences menu and if you want to reset the app tooltip then you can do so here. Anyway let me open one of the photos. On the editing screen, you can tap on the photo to hide and open the tools. On the top, we have undo, redo, alongside the auto tune, compare original versus edited and export options. Down the bottom is all the magic. The first option we have is the looks option. In here, we have over 100 looks to choose from. You can also slide on this line to increase and decrease the opacity level of the effect. You can set a custom look and save to use later. The next tool is called Blend Effects, also called Lights. The app offers around 85 lights to decorate the photo. The Auto Tune option on the top is for people like me who don't know much about the editing process. It does small tweaks to make the photo look natural. Anyway, the third option is the Crop option. The app comes with some built-in aspect ratios for social media which can be handy. The crop tool also comes with the rotate and you can flip horizontally and vertically. The last option is the transform option. Here you can auto transform the picture or take the matter in your own hands and manually change the skew. You can also select the balanced auto which will try to crop and transform together. In the next tool we have most of the editing tools. It offers four sub tools and the first one is called corrections. You get over 15 options to enhance the photo. We have exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights and more. I'm not going to explore each in this video. All of them really depend on the photo. So you will have to play around for a bit and figure out the best colors. The second tool is the split tone. I don't touch this tool very often but it can help add some extra colors to the photo. The next option is the blur option. It offers a circle and a full screen option. The circle called red dial allows you to move and change the circle radius and if you want to blur inside of the circle or the outside the option is available too. The blur also allows blurring the whole photo. You can slide on the slider to adjust the blur. The last tool here is the vignette tool. The tool allows you to make the photo corners white and black. You get the amount option which is the main option and the rest of the tools work with this tool. You can change the midpoint of the vignette, blur or make the edges solid and finally change the design of the vignette corners. Moving to the next tool, blemish removal is a common tool. Blemish removal can remove the spots on the skin or anywhere on the photo. The tool uses artificial intelligence to predict the surrounding colors and replace the blemish with those. You can change the size of the blemish tool by sliding the slider. The next is the red eye remover. We don't have any red eye but if you have any in the image just zoom into the eye and tap on the eye so that the tool can detect and fix it. You also have an option to fix the red eye of your pet's eyes. The next common feature is the text tool. You get many styles to choose from just tap on each to add to the photo. Double tap on the text to edit. Different text styles come with the slider to adjust the transparency. You can adjust the size of the text by holding on the bottom left edge. The other three options are for rotating, editing the text and removing it from the photo. You can add multiple by tapping anywhere on the image and then tapping on another text. You can also change the font, font color and the text alignment. The font color comes with the color picker wheel which enables more options. You can browse themes and saved colors or simply put in the hex or RGB codes in the above menu if you have the color code. Just like the text you can add stickers. The app comes with over 70 stickers all categorized above. You can add multiple like the text. Stickers don't come with the size option but you can pinch in and out to change the size. The last tool we have is the borders tool. You can add different kinds of frames into the photo. Frames don't come with the slider so you can't adjust the thickness but it offers plenty of options to choose from. Anyway, once satisfied with the options 
we tap on the top right button. The next menu shows export options. You can add a watermark or create your own watermark in the preferences menu. You can save the image, share it or make it the wallpaper, a screen saver or a contact photo. Let's go back to the home screen. You can create collages. The option will open a selection menu where you can choose different photos. On edit screen, you can drag and drop the images and change the order. Change the collage size to get the perfect size photos and adjust the outer, inner and corner radius of the images. You can also edit a photo. Just tap on a picture and touch on the pencil icon. You will get a few options. To edit, tap on the edit button. Here you will find all the image editing options. Once you are done editing, just hit the back button on the top left. To save the collage, touch on the top right share button and you will find the same options. So that's pretty much all Photoshop Express is. I hope the video helped you learn Photoshop Express without too much effort. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think of this video and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos.